Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 work from home jobs that pay more than a normal salary. So you'll get very good pay from these jobs. These are from home, remote, whatever you want to call them. Um, and usually only involve maybe your computer, uh, maybe a headset in some instances and stuff like that. So. The first one is freelance writing. Freelance writing tends to pay very well, and you can make anywhere between ten to a hundred dollars per hour. There have actually been websites that are still around that pay as much as you know hundreds of dollars per hour, like two hundred fifty dollars per blog post and stuff like that. So you can work freelance. You can work as you know a writer for a specific company, but freelance you'll probably make more money because there's so many jobs out there and a lot of them will pay more for one article from a outside source than they will for a full-time employee. A couple places that you can find jobs in writing that pay very well that are actually from home. One is problogger.com slash jobs. They have a job board for just blogging and writing jobs. Many of these are freelance, remote, contract type jobs. As you can see here, there's usually a new job out like every day or maybe two or three per day being posted on here. So there's a lot of great writing jobs and that's all that's on here, just writing stuff. So whether it's freelance, contract, some of them are even full-time or part-time like this one um, down here, but it's in Toronto. But you know, you can do... Um, guest writing you can do freelance writing contract per per uh, article you can do per review if you're doing a review site you can do tutorials they have like coding tutorials people pay you for all kinds of stuff so check out this page here it's the jobs board at problogger.com and I also have a YouTube playlist of multiple videos if you go to the playlist section of my channel at Justin Bryant on YouTube. You can go to Make Money Guest Writing. It's this one right here. It's currently got four videos on it about just making money from uh, posting as a guest writer and pitching articles to a lot of different websites. So I'll, I'll show you dozens and dozens of websites um, on there and you can check those out. I have a video about 20 websites that pay you 50 plus dollars per blog post 15 websites that pay you 200 dollars plus per blog post 16 websites that pay you 100 dollars plus per blog post and 11 websites that will pay you between 50 and 700 dollars per blog post so those four alone will get you you know about 50 or more different websites that you can go to to get paid very well on a per article basis. Next is website or app testing. So you can get easily paid um, 10 to 15 dollars per test and each test usually only takes 15 to 20 minutes. So you're looking at a solid 30 to 45 dollars per hour working from home on your computer just testing new websites and apps in many cases before they go live so you will know about a lot of new services a lot of new apps and products online before a lot of people will because you're the one testing and giving feedback before they go with the final product one is usertesting.com and you can go here earn ten dollars per test each test takes about 20 minutes you get paid via PayPal which is very convenient and you can average pretty easily about thirty dollars per hour just testing websites apps and other types of prototypes so that is usertesting.com and go to become a user it's a green button I'll go back for you it's a green button up here get paid to test Click that and you'll go to uh, sign up and hopefully get approved as a tester. Next is UserZoom. That is a another website that pays you to test all kinds of products like prototypes, um, 
you can take surveys, you can do usability testing, you can do quick testing, all kinds of stuff. You're testing websites, you're testing apps, you're testing prototypes of different products and stuff like that. So it's just like user testing except it's userzoom.com and they tend to pay pretty well as well. They've had a lot of different participants and a lot of different studies. So you can click here to join their panel and go from there. So 15 to 20 minutes per test. Next is search engine evaluation. So this is basically you help search engines um, get better search results. You talk about you know the user interface of it, the user um, the usability of it, how user friendly it is. You can get paid on average about twelve to fifteen dollars per hour um, helping search engines with evaluation of search results, ads, and stuff like that, the look of it. So a few places you can go to find these types of jobs. One is Appen. You can go to join.appen.com. As a side note, I'll have links to all these pages in the show notes. But appen.com um, is a place where you can look at their different jobs here. And these are usually all remote. You know, it might tell you a random location, but these are remote jobs where you can evaluate social media and all kinds of stuff and they pay you to do it search engines also um, another one is leap force and if you go to their jobs page you can look and see some of the ones that they have available this one is specifically search engine evaluator um, it is remote they have jobs all around the world this one is singapore but um, all kinds of jobs around the world where you can do search engine evaluation and you're an independent agent that works from home. So that's a couple ways to do that. Next is a web developer. And a web developer can make around fifty-five to 175000 per year just to build websites and customize websites for people and stuff like that. So there's a few places I recommend you look at if you want to make good money as a web developer. One is automatic. You can see how to spell it here, automatic with two T's. And if you go to the work with us page, which I'll have a link to for you, um, you can do all kinds of code and help with uh, building websites and stuff like that. They are behind um, the WooCommerce plugins. They're behind um, WordPress and stuff like that. So they've really had a... a part to play with some very large, uh, very well-known brands like WordPress and stuff like that. So Automatic would be a great place to work. You can see some of their positions here on the side. Many of them are work from home and stuff like that. Another one is Envato and this works with WordPress as well as well as other types of um, coding but you can do WordPress plugins, you can do software, you can do themes for WordPress, websites, all kinds of stuff. That's Envato. You can see here you can work from home in many cases. Just go to envato.com slash careers and that will show you what kind of things they have available, what it's like to work here, the different benefits they have, which they have a lot of, and different roles that you can uh, do. They have a lot of stuff available. Another one is voiceovers or voice acting. Um, different ways that you could use your voice if you feel like you have a good voice, a distinctive voice that could be used for a lot of things, um, whether you're doing voiceovers for people's YouTube videos, whether you're doing uh, the voice of you know, different shows or movies or something or different presentations or characters and presentations and videos all kinds of stuff can be done uh, from home through you know YouTube daily motion all kinds of stuff like that freelance sites tend to be great places to find voiceover work and you can expect between 56 and 72 dollars per hour 
according to you know some studies about how much a voice actor or voiceover specialist makes um, one place I would check if I was you is Fiverr Fiverr.com is a place where you can sell all kinds of gigs um, freelance based but you can charge as little as like five dollars per th- gig and as much as a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars per gig so fiverr has a voiceover section where you can do all kinds of voiceovers you can see your competition just by looking in this section see kind of how other people um put their gigs together you can sell other gigs as well you're not limited to just one gig you can sell you know if you wanted to do multiple things on fiverr you could sell a voiceover gig um you could sell a you know writing gig you could sell an seo gig you could sell marketing all kinds of stuff so it's a very versatile um, platform where everything is taken care of the messaging the payments all that stuff with the fiverr website and you get paid via paypal upwork.com is another one they have a lot of voiceover jobs Um, i looked you know just doing a quick search you can find 43 right off the bat and that is U.S. only. If you turn that off, you would find a lot more. But you can do 35-second uh, voiceovers, you know, longer ones, shorter ones, characters and videos, uh, like animations and stuff like that, all kinds of stuff. So um, voiceover jobs, they will uh, you can negotiate how much they pay, how much their budget is, how much you charge, and stuff like that. And um, Upwork is a great place to find a lot of freelance work. Next is online tutoring. So if you feel like you could tutor people in school subjects and stuff like that, you could expect to earn about 12 to $35 per hour tutoring uh, school students over the phone or through something like Skype or Google Hangouts or some sort of video chat thing with your computer. A couple websites I would recommend for finding work in these areas. One would be tutor.com. It is a huge website where they have algebra and, you know, U.S. geography. They have all kinds of, you know, physics, all kinds of different subjects that you can tutor people in without ever having to leave your home, without ever having to work for a school. And you know what? You'll probably make more money than a lot of school teachers. So tutor.com, lots of traffic, great place to find tutoring jobs online. You can read more about um, what they have here. They have U.S. military, libraries, higher education, you know, younger kids, older kids, whatever, you know, high school students, middle school students, and uh, all kinds of work that you can do. Chegg.com slash tutors is another place that you can go. You have online tutors ready 24-7. You can be one of those tutors that helps people online, and you can uh, make pretty good money at it. As I said, a lot of tutors make between $12 and $35 per hour online. Make sure you're familiar with uh, tools like Skype, maybe Google Hangouts, you know, different types of tools where you can voice chat over your computer or over your phone. So that's another thing. Obviously, some sort of teaching background would help as well. Next is virtual assistant work. So a virtual assistant, of course, is somebody who helps someone like an assistant, but you're doing more like online type of tasks. So You can expect to make 10 to $15 per hour, but you're working from home. You're also saving money on your commute and, um, you know, on basic living expenses and things like that. You know, gas, your, um, your, the work on your car, um, food, all kinds of stuff you're saving money on by working from home, but you still can make more than a lot of, you know, jobs, especially like, average you know over lower level positions but you do things like replying to email you do things like scheduling appointments um, assisting with social media entering data doing research for projects and stuff like that you know you might manage their google calendar there's all kinds of stuff that you can do Uh, a couple places i would recommend if you want to find virtual assistant work that pays well 
virtualassistants.com is a jobs board for just virtual assistant work. Um, so it's very specific to that. I would recommend going there. And you can, you can find all kinds of work in all kinds of areas. Another one is people per hour. Where people can hire you. Um, they post different jobs. You can do specific jobs. Or, you know, you could even work for a... Um, like a firm that does virtual assistant work where you would basically be working with the same client or multiple clients all the time. Um, you could do your own gig where you you have your own website and you work for one specific maybe uh, you know well-known client who's maybe a celebrity or a, someone who's a CEO or something who just doesn't have time to do a lot of things. There's a lot of different directions you can go. Uh, per specific job or just working for one or two people all the time and just being there like personal virtual assistants but people per hour and virtualassistants.com are two places you could get started next is an online travel agent so you are basically booking vacations for people in many cases you get a commission so that on top of you know regular um, base pay so there are a lot of travel sites um, that make it easier to plan travel there, but there are a lot of agents that still are available that help people with finding, you know, safe tours to go on and uh, recommending the best hotels or doing a search to save them money on the hotel or whatever. So a couple places that I've seen hire work from home travel agents. One would be Sandals. They do luxury resorts like in the Caribbean and you can uh, look them up at caribbeanjobs.com or the sandals.com website. They are also um, a company that lists jobs on, you know, different job websites like indeed.com and stuff like that. Another one is Vail Resorts. They typically hire around this time of year or more in the fall where um, they have, you know, a long season of you know, snowboarding and skiing and stuff like that up in the Colorado area as well as neighboring states in the U.S. And they hire people to um, do customer support, book trips, and stuff like that for Vail Resorts, where they are typically ski resorts. So those are a couple I would recommend. You know, they have a lot of locations whether you're doing mountain trips, um, lodges, and stuff like that, or you're doing more like Caribbean trips with sandals, um, those are a couple places that typically hire work-from-home agents. Next is a translator. So translating, even though we have Google Translate and some of these apps on our phones that help with translation, um, there are still big demands for translators, people who are multilingual, who know also the slang of different um, different languages and stuff like that. So a couple places you could get pretty good paying jobs as a translator. Translationsabc.com is one place you might go to. Um, they are always looking for people. You can email them your resume by clicking this email and um, they are looking for translators all the time that can work from home. Another one is affordabletranslations.com. They do languages like Spanish, French, German, Portuguese, Italian, Russian. They have more as well. You can see a lot of different ones. They even include Vietnamese and um, you know Dutch and some even some others that you may not have even heard of. But um, all kinds of translation services you know, you might not be doing it just to English. You might be doing Spanish to French or something like that. So if you are multilingual in any multiple types of languages, you might check out those two websites. And last but not least is a transcriber, also known as a transcriptionist. Basically what you do is you turn audio from a video, from an interview, from a podcast or something like that and turn it into text so you need to have good typing speed you need to be able to listen and comprehend um, 
accents and stuff like that from audio. Um, you want to have pretty good equipment at home for that where you can listen to it clearly, some sort of good headphones maybe, and uh, good typing speed like I said. And you can get paid pretty well doing this. About $25 per hour would be the range for a transcriber. A couple places I would recommend you look at are transcribeme.com. They have all kinds of transcription work. Very highly trafficked website. They do a lot of business. And rev.com. Also, if you like doing captioning and um, translation services, they also have those as well. But um, they're probably more known for their transcriptionist work. So rev and transcribeme.com are two places you might go to do that. They tell you the range of pay, you know, per audio minute and stuff like that. So um, you can pretty easily make uh, a decent wage while working from home, and it's a very easy type of job. So if you thought this video was helpful, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if you want to let me know what you thought about the video, if you want to let me know about something you want me to cover in the future, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And I'll also get links to all of these career pages and resources in the show notes at selfmadesuccess.com. I'll get a link in those uh, to that page in the video description as well. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful, and I hope you have a great day.